Welcome back to Tied Up in Sydney. My name is Jeff, and continuing along with this series on how to read a necktie knot and reading the steps, uh, I'm going to finish off the asymmetric necktie knots today, and today is called the Grant Chester. Now, I think every man should have a three-piece suit, especially for those events where you want to be bold, you want to stand out, uh, you want to uh, you want to be a bit different. Uh, and to complement that three-piece suit, you want a knot that's a bit larger than life. And the Grant Chester is a good opportunity to do that. Uh, it's an asymmetric knot, so it does work well with those spread collars uh, and also works well with your pointed collar. So regardless of whether you're wearing a pointed collar or a spread collar, you might be able to go with the Grant Chester as, as, an, op as an option. Now, you can see the number of steps. So these are your steps in the Grant Chester. The number of steps, it's using a lot of fabric. Your knot is going to be large and bold, okay? So you wanna, you wanna have a necktie that's really gonna complement that, that large shape. Uh, again, asymmetric though, and it's really gonna help you stand out. So I'll show you how to tie that today and how to read this shorthand, okay? Again, it's a very large knot, so um, you're going to use a lot of fabric. You have a lot of steps involved, so you may shorten this out. If you're wearing a vest, you don't have to wear a vest, by the way, is depending on how wide your neck is, many of you can pull off the Grant Chester uh, without needing a vest because you, you'll still be able to get the length right. Uh, but in some cases, you may want to wear a vest because the knot is so large uh, that you may not, you may struggle to get the right length. So we start left out of the diagram. So again, left out of the diagram means seam side out, okay? Left out of the diagram, right into the diagram left out of the diagram, right in to the diagram. And here we're going to go center out. Center out. From here, we haven't switched hands yet, left in to the diagram. Right out of the diagram, left in to the diagram, center out. And then we're going to come straight through the fabric. We're going to come straight through that loop that we've just created. Tighten it up a bit. Pull it through, and we can cinch up our Grant Chester. Closing my vest now. And remember, when you're wearing a vest, it actually doesn't matter if you got the length right or not, does it? All right, so you can see that this is, again, it's another asymmetric knot, but it is quite large, it's quite bold, and it fills this space quite well. And because you don't have that, uh, that standard V shape happening, that asymmetric knot might be more appropriate. It's going to work very well in any corporate setting. It's also gonna work in, um, you know, a little bit more casual settings as well. So this is your Grant Chester, guys. Um, Great with a vest, great with a three-piece suit, um, or, or good without it. Thanks again for watching Tied Up in Sydney. If you've been enjoying learning how to tie necktie knots, click right here and subscribe so that you're not missing out on the next ones. Uh, the next uh, set of uh, videos that are going to come out are going to be going through all of the symmetric necktie knots. And again, showing you that shorthand so that you can learn how to read that shorthand so that you'll always know the steps involved. Click right here if you want to see more videos just like this one. And upper left-hand corners for... Uh, knots that are my creations.